If you guys have been living under a rock, you might have missed the major meltdown that is occurring on social media in regards to the news that Spider-Man is no longer going to be a part of the MCU. Marvel and Sony could not come to an agreement when it came to the extension of their deal, their partnership between the both of them for Spider-Man in the MCU and then Marvel doing the films for Sony. The fans are up in arms and according to multiple multiple sources, this blowback might affect the PlayStation 4. Fans are threatening to boycott Sony in general, who's the parent company of Sony's PlayStation over Spider-Man leaving the MCU. This is crazy. Let's talk about that. Gamescom was the other day and we came off that high of the breaking announcement that Sony and PlayStation were acquiring Insomniac Games, the company and the developer responsible for the awesome and the amazing PlayStation exclusive, PS4 exclusive, Spider-Man, PS4. Man, that game is amazing. I'm currently working on the platinum for that game and I've told people this many times. I feel like it's the best superhero game ever made. I know there's a lot of stand out there for Batman and the Arkham series but this takes the cake when it comes to PlayStation games and just superhero games in general so if you guys didn't know that announcement came in the middle of Gamescom I was doing a live reaction with my homie Noof Nukem shout out to him he's my co-host on the saltiest gaming podcast shameless plug so PlayStation comes off this amazing announcement that they're acquiring Insomnia games which I mentioned many times on social media and during the live stream that it was a human humongous get for PlayStation to make that announcement and it's intertwined in the Spider-Man franchise because like I said before there's never been a game that was made to this level when it comes to the Marvel games and Spider-Man in particular so Insomniac is famous for making this well thought out well done game in Spider-Man and then what happens the next day boom there's an announcement that Marvel and Sony pictures so Sony is is the parent company, right? You have Sony. They make Blu-ray players. They, they have life insurance. They have the PlayStation division. Sony is the main company and then they have different branches off of that and a lot of people don't know the difference. So when this news came out that Sony Pictures and the MCU that is owned by Disney couldn't come to terms on a deal to extend the partnership. You guys don't know. It was struck in 2015 to share Spider-Man because Sony owns the rights to Spider-Man when it comes to the movies. Marvel, on the other hand, owns the rights for merchandise and video games and almost everything else. Marvel had to sell off the properties, including Spider-Man and the X-Men back in the 90s to avoid bankruptcy. And I think they sold it for only like $9 million or something silly like that. So anyway, a lot of people don't know if Sony owns the rights to Spider-Man because the Spider-Man game was a PlayStation 4 exclusive or what's going to happen with the next game. I've looked up multiple, multiple stories and articles, but nothing is clear when it comes to what's happening with the upcoming game, the future sequel. If you played Spider-Man PS4, it leaves you on kind of a cliffhanger and it sets up the story for a sequel. No one's privy to the behind the scenes deals between Sony and Marvel when it comes to the game rights. So we're not sure if this is going to be affected when it comes to the ongoings of the deal between Sony Pictures and Marvel, but there's not really clear and concise answers out there when it comes to have they made a deal for a sequel on the PlayStation 4 and it is Insomniac making it? Is it a multi-game deal or is it still up in the air? That being said, that's kind of besides the point, but it all kind of folds into the same story here because a lot of these people online are putting their anger towards Sony as a company and they want to boycott everything because this is a day and age of boycotting, right? If you don't like something, you boycott it. So Sony's getting thrown under the bus and if you're involved with Sony, you're getting thrown under the bus. So there's multiple tweets out there when it comes to this. I'm boycotting Sony no matter what. This includes PlayStation 4. There's a, a couple of funny tweets out there. Uh, I think they're funny anyway, you know? So here's a, I'm going to bring a couple up on the screen and let you take a look at them. 
you know, it is what it is. Uh, I think it could affect PlayStation, but a lot of these people are just talk, you know what I'm saying? So it's not going to be a big deal in the long run. I think a lot of it's just fake outrage on social media. I'm a big MCU fan, and I think that Spider-Man, Tom Holland's Spider-Man has been the best Spider-Man in my opinion. I think that storyline where he gets to interact with all these characters that exist in the MCU, plus the relationship that he had with Tony Stark was amazing. And I think if you take that out of the picture and you take him and you put him into this Sony made universe with their Venom, just because that had, you know, made a billion dollars or whatever, I don't think it works. So I'm upset. I've tweeted a lot about it, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, life doesn't go the way you plan a lot of the times, right? So you got to just kind of roll with the cards and roll with the punches. Am I going to boycott PlayStation and Sony because I'm mad? No, I'm going to keep playing games on my PlayStation that I own and it is what it is. People will get over it. Either Sony and Disney will come to terms to kind of fix this situation or they won't and life will go on. I don't know how much this is going to actually affect PlayStation, but it might. So what do you guys think about the story? Are you mad? about the news? Could you care less? Do you think it will affect PlayStation sales? Do you think this boycotts just a bunch of BS like usual? Let's talk about in the comment section down below. This is why I do my channel. I'm passionate about gaming. I love talking to you guys. If you guys didn't know, I started a Let's Play series with Bloodborne. I'll be continuing that tonight. So hopefully you guys will come by and stop by in the stream. I love, you know, chit chatting live. So anyway, that's going to do it for the video today. If you're new, subscribe, hit the bell icon for future notifications. Have a great day. And as always, stay salty, my friends.